Hey girls, and welcome to The Rice Effect, where we focus on the things that affect you. Now, my name is Stephanie. If you're new or you just haven't subscribed yet, make sure you press that red subscribe button. And while you're at it, press the notification bell and choose all so that you don't miss not another video of mine. Now today, we're going to be making two delicious and nutritious teas whose herbs were cultivated in both Africa and India. Now one is a drinking tea and the other is to be sprayed or rinsed on the hair and scalp. These teas have a multitude of vitamins as well as essential amino acids that not only benefit the entire body, but also feed the hair follicle and tackle such skin and scalp conditions as dandruff, eczema, and also psoriasis. While feeding the hair follicle, the hair gets darker and sheds much, much less. Now these teas are incorporated into our current challenge, the Hair and Body Thrive Challenge with a Buster Rhymes Boost. To learn about our main ingredients and more about the challenge, give this a watch and then we'll talk recipes. Now directly above, you should see the link for the playlist for the Hair and Body Thrive Challenge with a Busta Rhymes Boost. This playlist will be growing day by day and as the challenge progresses, you'll see links throughout this video with new and fresh recipes. If you don't see the links above, then you'll definitely see them in the description box as well as the end screen of this video. If you happen to be watching the video on your television, just go to my channel, subscribe, and save the video and or playlist to watch later. And be sure to press the notification bell and choose all so that you'll always get a heads up when I post videos pertaining to the challenge and more. The Hair and Body Thrive Challenge with a Busta Rhymes Boost started in our Facebook community at The Rice Effect with Stephanie Rice and the Sisterhood of Curls. And now we're sharing this super fun and invigorating challenge with you. So be sure to refer back to the video that introduces the challenge for more details linked above and in the description box. So please feel free to join us in the challenge. So without further ado, let me introduce you to our two main ingredients that we'll be using today. The first is Moringa. Known as the Miracle Tree, for centuries the leaves, flowers, seeds, and roots of the Moringa Tree have successfully been used as a medicinal aid to a vast array of ailments. Moringa is a super potent antioxidant with antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. It's a very effective pain reliever for arthritis and it regulates blood sugar. Moringa protects the liver, kidneys, heart, and lungs. It even helps to balance hormones, weight loss, and acne. Moringa makes the scalp apt for hair growth, keeps gray hair at bay, and reduces alopecia aiding in hair rejuvenation. Moringa activates the dormant hair follicles and enhances hair growth on the thinning and balding areas. It fortifies the hair and scalp with its omega fatty acids that plump up the hair strands, giving it a thicker appearance and stronger resilience. Be sure to speak to your doctor if you already take medication for diabetes, high blood pressure, or if you have an overactive or underactive thyroid, as Moringa helps to balance these conditions naturally. But by you taking your medication and Moringa during the same time period, it may serve as over-medicating. So please consult your doctor first. Our next main ingredient is trifala. Trifala is comprised of three superfruits, amalaki, also known as amla, haritaki, and vipitaki. For centuries, trifala has been used in India as a daily tonic in maintaining health and beauty. Trifala has an amazing amount of vitamin C in it, whose potency only comes second to the Bayesian cherry. 
This vitamin C addresses hyperpigmentation, acne, and psoriasis. And let us not forget, it helps the body produce more collagen, and there's nothing wrong with plumping up a couple of fine lines and wrinkles. Trefilla purges the body of deeply impacted toxins, making way for a healthier body and thriving hair. Trefilla also promotes weight loss and reduces high blood pressure and high blood sugar. So if you take medication for those conditions, please be sure to speak to your doctor. So now that you know more about the main ingredients and how to maneuver through the challenge, let's get right down to the recipe. And remember, all videos pertaining to the challenge will be incorporated into the playlist. And throughout this video, you'll see links above as well as in the description box and end screen. Welcome. Now I hope you enjoyed that presentation and that you were able to learn a little bit more about our main ingredients. Moringa and Trefilla. Now if you've enjoyed the video thus far, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also share it with your family and friends because if you found it valuable, then I'm sure they would too. <laughs> so now we're going to focus on making the Moringa Trefilla hair and scalp tea. So we're going to jump right into it with the recipe and the ingredients. First, Moringa, Trifala, green tea, caffeinated coffee, flaxseed meal, golden and brown, glycerin, neem oil, and MSM. Okay, so we're starting off with 13 ounces of hot water, okay? And now we're going to Add in our Moringa powder. And we're just gonna mash it up a little bit. Make sure it's nice and smooth. And then just start. Great. And then we just stir that right in. So if you see any lumps, just smash them right on the side. And now we're going to add in our trefilla powder. Great. That usually dissolves very, very well and very quickly. Very nice. Look how quickly that dissolved. Now you can either use green tea or caffeinated coffee or both. It's one teaspoon total. Now what do these things do and why are they going into our hair tea? Well, we have green tea for instance. Green tea is high in antioxidants that fight free radicals that basically deteriorate the body, okay? So green tea is amazing for the hair. Also, caffeinated coffee. Caffeinated coffee invigorates the circulation in your scalp, and also it is a DHT blocker, and so is green tea. They're both DHT blockers, okay? Now, DHT is the culprit of hair loss or hair thinning. So these basically keep the hair on your head, DHT blockers, okay? And here we go. Just gonna pour that right in. going to add in our flaxseed meal. Now I have golden flaxseed meal and I also have brown flaxseed meal in here. Now besides the golden having a more nutty taste, nutritionally they're both the same. So let's add those in. And flaxseed has the omega fatty acids that the hair actually loves. Good fat. So what it does is it gives your hair shine and it also fights dandruff and acne and eczema and psoriasis. 
So it's very, very good for the skin and for the hair. And now we're adding in the glycerin. Glycerin is a humectant that draws moisture from its environment. So right from the air. So if, but if you're in a dry environment, then um, I wouldn't suggest it because there's no moisture in the air to take. So that glycerin is still going to feel the need to suck. So it may just take that moisture right out of your hair. Okay, so keep that in mind. And we have neem. Now I'm using neem oil because neem is considered the skin herb. It's amazing for healing. It has anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, antibacterial uh, properties. So it cleans the skin. It helps um, heal wounds. It's amazing. So I, I definitely wanted this in my tea. And now we have MSM. Now MSM is a natural form of sulfur and sulfur is so great for the hair because it detoxifies the scalp and also makes way for very strong and healthy hair growth. Let's put that in. And that's just gonna dissolve right in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna get my little cute little teapot. Look how cute it is. I got it from Japan. Ooh, I can smell the name. But do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that beautiful tea? Look at that color. Beautiful. After me talking about name like that, I'm sure that, you know, you're intrigued. But one thing that I must tell you is that neem smells to me, just to me, neem smells like fermented vinegar leaves. It smells like vinegar leaves that have been fermented. That's what it smells like, okay? <laughs> so it's strong. And you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, neem is that good, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover that and I'm going to put a little tissue in the spout to make sure that it you know, just gets this maximum heat. But I'm going to either leave that, I'm gonna leave this overnight, but you can leave this either, you know, for eight to 12 hours. And then I'll, I'll see you in the morning, okay? All right, see you then. All right, so it is morning. And um, we've let this steep overnight and a little over that for maybe like 12 hours. And now it's time to strain. And this is a nice nut bag. I love a good nut bag. It's muslin cloth. Okay, so first, let's just stir this up. Oh, it's still such a nice color. Look at that. Even though things I'm sure have settled, but it's still such a nice color but we want to get all of this out. And then we don't want it to get stuck in the spout. Okay, let's do this. Nice color, nice and rich. Things coming out of the <laughs> the remnants. <laughs> okay, doesn't that look lovely? Look at that beautiful, beautiful color. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be dividing this, okay, into a spray and also a rinse, okay? So let's just funnel this right on in.
Now this should be more than enough for the week to spray your scalp and your hair with. And then midweek, we're going to do a rinse, a hair rinse, okay? Now, if during the week you should see, or by the week, you know how much you can spare, you know, for the rinse, because there may very well be some of this left over, so you would just put it in here, go ahead and rinse your hair with it. You know, and it's to relieve your hair of, you know, the oil that we have been putting in each week, okay? Now, if you're not familiar with um, the regime, make sure you look at the introductory video for the Hair and Body Thrive Challenge with a Buster Rhymes Boost, okay? <laughs> make sure you look at that video. Um, it should be at the top of your screen right now, okay? So here we are. Look at this beautiful tea that we've made. Now one is for a midweek rinse, okay? We're to use this tea three to four times a week on alternate days, so every other day. It will nourish and strengthen your hair. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot one important thing. Well, two. Essential oils, okay? So feel free to put essential oils into this wonderful tea. I'll tell you what I have today is rosemary. Now, rosemary is so powerful that it is comparable to minoxidil, okay, which is the drug that is in Rogaine that promotes regrowth, okay? But this doesn't have any side effects, okay? So rosemary is fantastic. And then we have our oils in here, remember? Now, our oils act as a carrier oil for this essential oil because water is not a carrier for essential oil. That's very important to know, okay? So I'm using rosemary and then we have spearmint. Now spearmint stimulates the scalp and it smells absolutely delicious, okay? And it just complements everything that is with. Spearmint is great. So of the rosemary, I'm going to put five drops here and then with the spearmint I'm going to put two or three drops now if I had this all together before splitting it up then I would have just put ten drops of rosemary in the whole thing and five drops of spearmint but just from this little bit my goodness it I can Oh yes, it's, the smell is permeating, okay? It's just gonna need time. And so these will stay in the refrigerator, okay? Um, because we don't want bacteria in our tea, okay? And this will last for the whole seven days, okay? But make sure after each use, you definitely want to put it in the refrigerator and keep it in there, okay? All right. The Moringa Trifala Hair and Scalp Tea. So now I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make the Moringa Trifala Drinking Tea. Now we're starting off with eight ounces of hot water, okay? We're going to add one teaspoon of raw honey. Now if you're looking for a lower glycemic index, and you don't want that sugar spike that honey may give you, agave may be a better choice, okay? Because it's the sweetness, but it doesn't give you that sugar spike like honey would, okay? So we're gonna put this honey in here. And we're gonna stir this honey in well. It dissolves fairly quickly. There it is, it's dissolved already because we don't want the powder to stick to it. Okay. So right now we're going to add our Moringa powder. Put it right in there. And then just bash it to the side there. And stir. And would you look at that, so nice. And then our tree fella. Mm -hmm. 
and we're all done. Just as simple as that. Look at how beautiful. Thanks so much for joining me today. I truly appreciate it. And I had so much fun talking about these amazing ingredients that we've incorporated into the Hair and Body Thrive Challenge with the Buster Rhymes Boost. Now all videos will continually be added to the playlist above in the description box as well as in the end screen. Learn more about the challenge's regime by watching the introductory video for the challenge. Now if you gained any value from watching this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment. And don't forget to press that red subscribe button and choose all so that you don't miss not another video of mine. Okay, until next video, bye.